it, since everybody's been asking me for some more recipes, I would share with you a recipe that our friend gave us. It's for crock pot candy, otherwise known as Christmas crack. So here's the ingredients that you're going to need. You're going to need a crock pot. Obviously, mine's four. Um, I guess you can make double it and put it in the eight, crock, eight, whatever, the eight one. So then we have peanuts. You need a whole one of these, a whole big one. A whole one, wow. Okay. So if not, you get two 16 ounces. Then you need semi-sweet chocolate. Okay. One bag of it. Then you need German chocolate. It has to be the sweet German chocolate. And almond bark. Almond bark? Guess what, guys? This recipe is so unhealthy, but it is so amazingly good, you're gonna love it. Oh! <laughs> Should you put something down? No, I'm not hitting the bottom at all. I'm careful. Being careful. So first is your two 16 ounce dry roasted peanuts. They have to be the dry roasted peanuts. Or you can buy the big one like this, like I did at Walmart. Uh, that goes first. Now each layer has to be done exactly the way I'm showing you. For some reason it doesn't turn out correctly, so that's why we're going to follow it each step. One layer. Next, okay. German chocolate. Now. The way our friend makes it, she has like a bigger crock pot, so I'm hoping that the crock pot does good with this. We'll find out in the end. Our semi-sweet chocolate, one whole bag. Alright, so there's your semi-sweet. Next, all your almond bark. Maybe we needed a bigger crock pot. <laughs> You're supposed to do this in layers, so I'm hoping that this works for us. I don't know if we're going to be able to put the lid on. Oh, perfect! So the next thing you do is you're going to set it to low. And you have to leave this for two hours. Do not touch it. Do not stir it. Do not anything. Just leave it sit for two hours. And then after two hours, what you'll do is you'll stir it. And then you'll drop it onto parchment paper, so you'll come out with little, like, you know, little clusters of stuff. And then you can give them away, or you can put them in uh, baking, you know, the little baking cups. You can put them in, like, a muffin tin or something. We don't have one because it doesn't fit into our oven right now. So, but if you have that and you're at home, you can do it. You put them in the little baking cups, and you can have separate little pieces of candy. Just a little update. Look at that. It's starting to melt. You do not stir it. It starts to melt. You just let it go. When I previously told you it was two hours, I believe that is for the longer casserole pans, like I was telling you. Um, and this one was three hours, and look, everything's finally melted. I've unplugged it. So, let's see. Let's stir it all up like I'm supposed to. Everything's kinda, ooh. It's a little harder to stir than I thought it would be, but it's, so here they all are. Well, I have more over there, but you just spoon them out. Use a tablespoon and spoon them out however big or small as you want. You leave it on this sucker on low for two hours. Stir it up and then you put them out like this. Let them harden. See, these guys are getting there. They're not completely hard, uh, but once they are, you store them in a container and put them in the refrigerator. Um, I guess you could leave them out, but they would stay harder and probably a lot fresher if you put them in the refrigerator. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed the little tutorial, sort of kind of learned with me how to make Christmas crack candy. Um, and let me know if you guys want more of these kind of recipes down below in the comments. And if you do, then we'll bring you guys some more. Like us and share us. You know you'll find us funny.